am Shanta and I'm going to be your nurse for today and I am going to be assessing your heart today, okay? Okay. All right. And I am also a student at the University of Alabama. Okay, that's good. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is inspect your precordium um, and try to see if we can see uh, your apical pulse which I do not and that is still a normal finding. Um, a normal heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute and we want your rate to be regular. Okay. Um, next, I will take a listen to you. Okay, that is your aortic, which is located at the second intercostal space, right of the sternal border. Pulmonic, which is the second intercostal space located to the left of the sternal border. Tricuspid. Fourth or fifth intercostal space, left of the sternal border. Mitral. Oh, I'm sorry. Fifth intercostal space, left mid clavicular line. Um, with that, I heard your S1, S2, uh, your S1 is systole. Um, it is heard best at the apex of the heart. Um, and it is the closure of your AV valves, which is your tricuspid and your mitral valves. Um, your S2 is going to be your di diastole. Sorry. <laughs> And it is located, I mean, her best at the base of the heart. Um, and it is the closure of your semilunar valves, which is going to be your aortic and your pulmonic um, valves. Um, next, I will listen for any carotid bruise, okay? So you're going to take a deep breath and then exhale and kind of hold it for me, okay? okay? And I will listen to them bilaterally. Again. Okay, so there is no bruit noted um, uh, on either side. Um, we will uh, listen for or check for any kind of pulse deficit now, okay? So I'm going to palpate at your carotid and listen to your apical impulse, which is located at the fifth intercostal space, left mid, mid clavicular line, um, and see if there is any deficit, okay? Okay, so there is no pulse deficit noted um, between your carotid and your apical um, pulse. Okay, um, so next we, I'm going to palpate your brachial artery. We're going to do it bilaterally, I'm sorry. Okay, radial pulse. Okay. Dorsalis pedis. Okay. Popliteal tibial pulses. Okay. They were all 
plus two. No, um, no abnormalities noted at any of those pulses. Um, come check your uh, for any kind of edema here. So we press and hold for about five seconds. See if there's any, and it did not. Um, your legs return to normal state. Um, we're not going to assess your femoral artery today, but if we did, we know that it is located in the groin, um, in the uh, posterior. Posterior, superior, located in the groin, posterior, superior, iliac, Sup posterior, superior, iliac crest. Um, Thing. Um, let's also test your capillary refill, okay? So, your capillary refill is less than three seconds, which would mean that you have good uh, peripheral perfusion. Um, your nail beds are convex. Um, make the diamond shape there so there is no clubbing noted um let's see is there anything oh um we also have to notate that the base of the heart is located at the second intercostal space left um side of the sternum border and the apex of the heart is located at the fifth intercostal space left mid clavicular line um and like i said previously it is a normal finding if you do not um see or if you're able to feel that apical impulse and that is our heart assessment for today